Hey guys, it's gonna be, hello darling. It's gonna be a one take today. Um, I had my last night of night shift, which was fantastic. Cause it was relaxed. <laughs> I have like not much happening at work at the moment. I'm sort of, I don't have much to do, which is a good position to be in, especially when I'm going into holiday soon. Um, and then I've struggled today real hard. So I came home and I went to bed by what about seven, eight? Something like that. And then I woke up at 11.30. So I've had like maybe four hours of sleep. Then we went to brunch with Emily's mum and dad and Axel and Maggie. Oh, we should give her that treat, by the way. Oh, yeah. Can I give it to her? Yeah. Um, and that was really nice. It was my first time going out to breakfast since uh, restrictions were eased, which wasn't really that long ago. But considering in the two and a half weeks they were eased in June and July, I went like four or five times to get smashed out I'm surprised it was my first time. It was amazing. Um, and it really hits home, I think, how easy it is to actually just be pretty moderate. Because in reality, like I've calculated it all for today. And to be fair, I probably undercalculate the smash avo. Um, catering, catering. Um, I probably undercalculate the smash avo and how many calories are in it. But I'd rather do that than not calculate it at all and have it and then feel like I need to have a cheat day because I've blown my calories out like I always seem to do. Mm. Um, sniff the dog treat. I just wanted to see if it smelled like duck. Is this duck um, something or other? Duck, and it, jerky. duck jerky. Anyway, um, so yeah, I did that, and I have I've had a normal dinner and normal snacks, and I'm still under fifteen hundred calories for the day. Granted, my my protein's very low, but I would expect that. So I have some unfortunate news. My gym is not actually opening up properly. Tomorrow, I think um, it's a bit different than the restrictions it being eased last time. I think that this time a staff member always has to be there to ensure that the restrictions are being adhered to, which means that they're not even open 24 hours a day anymore and that they do a full booking thing. So when restrictions eased last time, they only did bookings for like two hours at night at the peak time. But this time they're doing them all the time and the sessions are only 45 minutes long. So... Unfortunately, I'm not going to be going back and it's going to it's looking like I won't be going back for at least two weeks. So I'm lifting again as of next week, despite what happens. I'm just jumping straight back into my program at home. Um, I can do it. Emily and I also didn't run today because we we're exhausted. We barely managed to stay awake since we got home from brunch. So um, it's one, 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 one run this week. We did two last week. Um, we did two last week. Did we do two the week before? Three. three. So we've done three, two, and one. I think it's probably a good little bit of a, a pyramid, like down, to sort of give our bodies a bit of a rest, and then we'll do two again next week, and then maybe three the week after, depending on how we feel. I feel good about the decision. I've, uh, Emily pointed out to me, and I don't really sort of, I'm not that in tune with myself. I, I've got a bad memory, but she said I've had bad sleep all week. It comparatively normally I sleep really well on night shift but she's right this week I haven't slept well at all hence my feeling of exhaustion hence the fact that it's only 20 to 8 and Emily and I are about to go to bed I'm probably going to miss my step girl for the day but as I always say on Sunday night starting tomorrow I'm not going to miss him anymore anyway I'll give Maggie the beat of the duck jerky here you go we bought her one at the cafe but Axel stole it <laughs> so Emily's mum bought Maggie and Axel another one at the end she looks like she's enjoying it. Is it good, baby dog? So yeah, the goal the goal is next week, and I'm probably gonna write somewhere. You can go to bed. Yeah, I'll see you now. I don't know why you're just standing there. I don't know. You see, I'm like staring at me in anticipation and getting annoyed that I'm taking so long, and you can just go to bed yourself. <laughs> no, I just um, feel like I don't want to walk out. No, like, feel free. So my goals are next week is six runs, six runs, six lifts. Three or two runs and um, maybe a couple of cycling sessions. I want to hit my water intake every day, which I haven't done pretty much any day this week. Um, so I'll probably start a Google Doc with a whole bunch of tick sheets for every day of the week um, and go from there. Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, I charged my motorcycle battery today. I learned how to take it out. Charged it myself, didn't need any help from anyone, and figured it all out by myself. My motorbike works again. Now I've just got to put some oil in it because it's um, out of oil. So I'll get it running well. I should do that before I even ride it because it's got like no oil in it. It requires Emily to sit on the bike and keep it straight for me. 
because um, bikes are leaned. So the oil levels only show true if you've got it standing in straight position. So I'll give that a go. Um, I might even empty the oil if I can. I'll probably be able to teach myself how to do it um, off the internet. And then one last piece of news. Did you eat it all? No? You've, got, you've still got lots left. Looks like a good one. Looks like one you can chew that you can't bite straight away. That's good for you. Huh? Um, so yeah, it felt really cool to do a bit of maintenance on my bike myself like that. Um, and what was I going to say? Em and I signed up for the Pat Cronin walk. So Pat Cronin was king hit and killed. I don't know how many years ago now, but my mum and um, my sister have done the memorial walk for him every year for the past couple of years now. I've never been able to do it. I think I've always been at work or otherwise committed. So this year we're doing it. It's virtual because of COVID. Emily and I have pledged to walk 50Ks next week. Um, I think we'll count our runs as well. Probably try and do over 50Ks. I probably want to do 50Ks worth of walking. Which will mean that I'll be hitting my step goals every day, that's for sure. So, I'm looking forward to that. Um, I may try and hook up with uh, some of my family members to go for a walk at some point. Um, we'll see what happens. That's very good for you, isn't it, Magnolia? She seems to like it too. But yeah, I am rambling, so I'm going to end it there. I'm behind on the vlogs. I will catch up probably on Wednesday. <laughs> um, oh, Emily bought me a ring today as well. Not an engagement ring, but... This beautiful blue ring. Look how shiny and cute it is. And I bought Emily a pair of earrings. So, yeah, it was a really nice day today. I actually got to walk into a couple of retail shops, got to go out to lunch with people, brunch with people, and night shift's over. Thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Take care. Bye.